No, I don't waste no time How you doing guys and welcome back to a new video. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George. I am a social media marketer and online coach. I have my own agency where I basically help businesses grow with Facebook ads and then in my coaching business or education business, I teach you guys on how to do the same. So how to start your own agency, how to get your first client, how to build it, scale it and automate it so that you can live life on your own terms. And I just asked uh, on my Instagram as well as in the free uh, lifestyle design community Facebook Facebook group um, if you guys have any suggestions for you know, YouTube videos and I got this question from Tristan he basically said how to stay on top of the follow-up and you know basically how to organize the outreach more now for those of you that are in my uh, lifestyle design mastery course or the lifestyle design coaching program know that I use software for this to stay on top of everything and so that I get reminders every single time I need to do outreach I need to do follow-up and so on and so forth however you don't actually need software for this yes you know it is very very easy to do so and you know it's a very easy way of staying on top of things but you can basically do the same thing in Excel and that's what I'm going to show you guys today so uh, I've got this untitled spreadsheet here which i'll just call um the follow-up automator follow-up automator there we go now in terms of the follow-up what i like to do is basically build out a mini crm system and like i said we do this in google sheets today and then i try and keep on top of the amount of follow-ups that i do so more often than not my follow-up consists of five emails um, and then every email obviously gets shorter over time to make that barrier to entry for the person to reply lower every single time. And then after five emails, if they haven't replied yet, then I consider them a lost lead. And then I will save their email address for if I ever want to do an email blast or some kind of nurturing process. Okay, so what we can do today is we can start off with a tab called business. Um, what else is relevant? The email address, of course. So email email and then the website is another thing that I like to have as well so website country is another important thing why because we need to know when to follow up with these people okay if you're following up at 11 p.m. at night uh, in the country that you're in then you know chances are that they probably won't reply uh, and then the day after when they actually do reply your email will be bottom of the list okay so what I like to do is because I live in Europe um, I like to send out an email blast um, to the US following up with uh, potential clients but also just doing like the initial outreach um, around 11 p.m. just before bed why because then it's seven hours earlier there so they're still in full work mode okay so uh, business email website country and then depends on where you get the, the the clients from you can add something like for example Facebook okay so we've got their Facebook page as well or what you can do if you get the if you get them from work for example you can have the Upwork job post link, okay? So that if they do ever reply and they say, okay, you know, let's see, let's hear what you've got, you can refer back to that Upwork job post and see what it is that they are actually looking for. Same go for freelancer.com, guru.com, you know, whatever. This is just a quick example, okay? So uh, we'll leave this, you know, open for now. We can call this other or Facebook, for example. And then, obviously, you know, we now have our follow-up messages. So we can call it, for example, day one. And then let me see if I can actually move this across or will it... Oh yeah, so day two, day three, day four, day five, day six. We don't have a day six, so we can have uh, we can change this to notes, for example. Okay, so this is our mini CRM system, and then what we can do is we can reach out to a business. So let's say, for example, I'm going to reach out to myself. Okay, so the business is called Brampenir. The email is Joshua at Brampenir.com. Let me just move these over, just to make it a bit more neater. There we go. The website is called brandpreneur.com the country that we are based in is the Netherlands so there we go Netherlands and then for example the Facebook is let me just move that over again there we go facebook.com slash brandpreneur okay so now let's say I have sent my original um, outreach message to brandpreneur um, I can then color this yellow okay so yellow means uh, I have done the outreach so let's just add it here yellow means outreach done okay now let's say no one replies I get completely ignored uh, by Brampaneer so then I follow up on day two so I mark that yellow as well and then day three 
um, I get a reply from uh, Brampanier and they say that they are not interested. So day three is where they basically mention, you know, leave me alone, not interested, so not interested. Okay, and then from there I know, okay, there's no need to follow up. By the way, guys, what I do, uh, what I do when I get that message saying not interested, leave me alone, stop messaging me, etc., I still reply to them. So what I say is, okay, um, I appreciate you taking the time to get back to me, and I appreciate your honesty. If you ever have any questions um, about social media marketing, please do not hesitate to reach out. Okay, so you're still building that bridge rather than burning it. Even though that person is not interested, you never know. Okay, he might have someone in his network that talks about social media marketing or needing Facebook ads, and then he'll remember that you know you were still kind to it to him and polite, etc. And he might actually say, oh, I've got this guy emailing me the other day. I wasn't interested, but I'm more than happy to pass that email on to you, okay? Now, if you ignore that person um, or you give him a rude reply, if he says he's not interested, then obviously that is not going to happen, okay? So never, ever be in bridges. Always try and stay as friendly as possible to everyone. Now, obviously, if this person is rude to you and extremely rude to the point where, you know, he's actually insulting you, then obviously, you know, just consider it a lost lead and do not follow up or do not reply at all, okay? So let's say that after day three, Brampanier is a lost cause, okay? So we start reaching out to another company, uh, Nike. So info at Nike.com. No idea, guys, just um, Nike.com. Okay, Nike.com are based in the US, so United States, Facebook.com. I don't even know if these are real link, by the way, guys. Just, so uh, Nike. Okay, so day one, we reach out to Nike, no reply, of course, same goes with day two. Day three, we start to get disheartened, but, you know, we still continue. And day four, we actually get a positive reply, okay? So we can colour that green. Let's pick a darker green. There we go. So we get a positive reply. So that is um, reply, okay? Uh, which one do we do? I think it's this one. Yep. Okay, so we get a reply, okay? And then what we can do is in our notes, we can add a, um, so for example, if a notes for Brampanier, we can say, um, not interested, okay? And then for this one, we can say, um, replied and, um, for example, replied and asked for more info, okay? And then what we can add is another tab. So there we go, with the last point of outreach. So um, last contact, we'll call it. Okay, so today, at the time recording this, it's the 7th of April, so we can just say 07, uh, so I'm doing the European way, guys, for those of you that get confused, so 07, 04, 2020, and then let's say that uh, we reach out to um, Nike the same day, so 04, 07, 2020, and they say that they are, they've asked for more info. Okay, so then we know, okay, we need to send more info to night.com and we can see that the last point of contact is uh, the 7th of April. Okay, so let's say now down the line that we've got an entire list, uh, we can then keep on top because eventually, uh, we, basically what we, the goal is to get these uh, colors, so day one to day five, completely full unless they reply positive or negative, okay? So if they don't reply after five days, so let's say we reach out to Apple, uh, there we go. Uh, Steve at apple.com, rest in peace, uh, apple.com, United States, facebook.com slash apple, okay, and then Apple has not replied for five consecutive days, there we go, okay, so no reply at all, so no reply, and then same goes with that one, there we go, so what we can then do is we can add another sheet, I mean, call this, for example, lost leads or natured leads or leads to nature, anything like that. Okay, so there you go, leads to nature. And then we'll add, uh, what we'll do is we'll add uh, business email, Apple. Okay, so we'll do business. Here we go, and email. Okay, so apple, steve at apple.com. Okay, and then over time, this will obviously build out as well, and then you might have, you know, an X amount of leads here. And then what you can do is every now and again, you can export this um, as a CSV file, so download as CSV file here, and then upload it into your email software, and then send out an email blast, uh, just, you know, giving them value, or, you know, basically 
an update on where you're at and then just have a call to action say you know if you want to know more about this click here or reply to this email or uh, let me know and i can send you a um you know a free consultation a free video or anything like that okay so it's it is a lost lead but every now and again we can always just follow up with them and just see if they reply okay so that is it in terms of the people that don't reply at all. Obviously, if they do reply, stay on top of this. Make sure you update this every single time you do reply to that person that you update that last point in contact. And obviously, you know, if they aren't interested, do not burn that bridge right away. You know, give them a polite uh, reply and then just leave it at that. Um, and what you can also do is you can have a tab with, for example, lead that never replied. And then, for example, lost leads is another tab. And again, you create a separate uh, sheet with all those contacts okay now obviously this just has free emails you know it's not very um it's not special but over time this will build out and you can see exactly at what point did you lose the leads uh, at what point did you get a reply and so on and so forth and then you can start optimizing so for example let's say we notice a trend in the amount of replies that we get so uh, day four is sort of the sweet spot and that can be two things obviously the more often we follow up, the higher the likelihood that they will reply, okay? Because the first email, more often than not, they will not reply to or they will consider it spam, okay? The second email is usually where we get a lot of replies because they realize that it's not just an, uh, an automated email, which it is, you're using the software, but we make it look like it's not, okay? So the second day or the second message that we send, we usually get the most replies because they realize that it's not a bot, it's actually a person behind it, okay? So we notice that the sweet spot for us is day two. What you can then do is, like I said, so it's two things, okay? So it's either the amount of follow-up that you've done or it's something to do with the message, okay? If it's if it's got something to do with the amount of follow-up you're doing, obviously there's not much that you can do about that. It's just because, you know, of the amount of message that you've sent. However, if, for example, you notice that day four is where you get the most replies. So let's say we notice that um, all of these are green or most of them are green uh, there we go and all these are yellow then we know okay there's something about that fourth message that we send that is getting the reply and what you can then try and do is move that so let's say for example day four we, we just say listen I know you've got a lot on your plate um, is it okay or I've, I've recorded the video is it okay if I send that over Okay, and then the, the day one to three is where you're going, you know, ham on the outreach. You're saying, you know, let's hop on a call. Let's do this. Let's do that. And day four is like a sort of almost last gasp. You say, okay, um, I know you got a lot of, on your plate. I know you're busy. I've recorded the video. Is it okay to send it over? If you notice that that person replies on day four, then what you can even try and do is move that to day two, okay? Or even day one if you want. So rather than going ham on the sales here and requesting a call, you know, request uh, or basically move that, that message from day four saying I've recorded the video to day one or day two and see how that improves your reply rate. Because it, like I said, you know, if it might have something to do with that message, that, that message that actually piques their interest or because it's so low barrier to entry in this, you know, in this example, the, the video that you've recorded um, that they think, yeah, sure, why not? And then you'll notice that rather than being ignored for the first few days, you'll start getting uh, replies on the first message or the second message, you know, dependent on uh, when you send it. Okay, so like I said, um, you know, this is just an easy way of doing it. For those of you that are in the, the course or the coaching, obviously you know what kind of software I use, but this is just as effective. It's just a little bit more, you know, basically time intense because you need to build it out yourself, okay? But when you're getting started, this is just a very, very easy and effective way of staying on top of when to follow up. And over time, you can always just scroll back up to your old, um, so let's say, you know, this is all built out. Let's, and then over time, you can just go back to messages that you didn't get a reply to. Or if you notice that, uh, for example, in this case, Nike um, replied on, let's say we, we reached out to Nike on the 12th of February, 2020. Okay. And they replied positively. But after that, after we sent a reply back to that message, we didn't get a reply. Okay. We can then say, okay. And the last message I got was on the 12th of Feb for Nike. I'm going to follow up with that person and see if they are still interested, okay? And then update this contact again to, for example, the 7th of March or 7th of April, okay? And that is how you can stay on top of the follow-up and stay on top of uh, of your potential leads, okay? So hope you got something out of this. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave this with a video with a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Like I mentioned in a few videos ago, um, when I checked my statistics, I noticed that I think it's like 60, 65% of the people that watch my uh, channel 
and also comment on a regular basis uh, aren't actually subscribed to my channel so it would mean the world to me if you did like i said it would help this channel grow and obviously i can reach out to more people reach more people and help more people with their social media marketing agency so for those that are actually interested in you know getting started with this and want my help to you know basically get started and build out that actual agency i also have a coaching program i will leave a link to that in the description box down below. All you need to do is uh, basically you know, schedule a free consultation call with either me or someone on my team. We can see if it's a right fit for you, a right fit for me, and you know, see if we can move forward with it. Yeah, like I said, all linked in the description box down below. But for now, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.